and will help you get the market in Congo. I'm serious. Then you create the jobs that the youth are crying for. This trip was nothing else other than the things I've said here. It was for nothing else other than the things I said here. It was for, to create a case for Zambia, to market Zambia, not by falsehoods, but by facts. And to attract colleagues that share our vision and values, and therefore bring in investments in our country. But investments won't come if it takes one year to get a title deed. Some of you go to lands for one year, you don't get a title deed. We want the title deeds to be issued on time so that you can now work on your plot, on your factory, with your partners and create jobs. That we are going to do. You don't have to corrupt anybody going forward to get your title at lands. You don't have to corrupt anyone in the council to get your restaurant license going forward. We are coming for you. Those who want corruption, who want a bribe in order to give an operating license. Those of you who hold back your citizens' business activities so they can pay you a backhander. The system will catch you because you are the ones destroying jobs. So we have a menu for everybody and everything. Just watch our steps. We did not go out there for lesbian rights. You haven't heard me. You have not heard me. We did not go there to talk about lesbian rights. We did not go there for that. Thank you. We did not go there for what I've just said. This is the point I want to make and make emphatically. Follow the issues, please. You are free. This is a democracy. Say what you want. But just say, tell the truth. That's all. <laughs> no one will pursue you, but ultimately you make yourself irrelevant. Yes. Say the truth. No one went for an agenda of those issues. The Constitution provides for those issues. I'm not the Constitution. I'm an Adventist myself. I'm an elder in the church. I even had time to attend service. I had time to attend service in Washington. And I was given time to talk. I didn't want to talk. I talked enough in the boardrooms there. I just sang my lovely song in my mother's tongue. And the Americans loved it. That's it. So, please, you are free to say what you want. You are free as journalists to write what you want. Remember, we've suggested that you self-regulate. I'm sure you are taking advantage of that. You are creating structures that will allow you to self-regulate. But honestly, if someone is writing falsehoods, you should also be free to challenge them on your own that there is nothing like that in the agenda. But allow them the space to make people know who they are, truly. Don't gag them. Give them a space to say what they want. You then have space to correct what they're saying. So we did not have any other issues to discuss other than around these issues. And we'll continue doing that for the greater good of this country. We have no qualms, no shame, no worries about any falsehoods. We are used to these falsehoods anyway. There's nothing new. Absolutely nothing new. But very few customers will be listening to those falsehoods going forward. Because people want value. 
and we work we're working towards delivering value